spread is that the populace defaults to what they know. And if after 12 years of austerity and increased waiting lists and all the other stuff, they still gave Johnson an 80 seat majority, I don't see how that shifts in a single election. And, and on the power of the right wing press, um, it, you know, the Daily Mail, just li coincidentally, as I'm talking to you, Rob, Daily Mail UK online has just put out, or just after midday, I just happen to have seen it now, um, Boris refuses, capital letters, refuses to take action to ease cost of living pain before quitting number 10 in a month. And then they go on to talk about broad, Gordon Brown blasting Nadim, their, their words, not mine, Nadim Zahawi and Boris Johnson over holiday absences. Um, that's not very pro-Tory, is it, that headline or well, that I article? I guarantee tomorrow morning on the Daily Mail's front page, we will be discussing what Liz and Rishi are going to do about this when they get into number 10. Well, good, because I'd like to know. Yeah, well, so would I, because obviously... <laughs> but none of, none of those things, you know, the, the, the article I just alluded to and what you just said there, none of those things are are reasons for Labour to be sitting back the way they well, appear to be to me. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I have to...